We're now going to take a look at how CircuitWorks for SOLIDWORKS can be used to generate SOLIDWORKS models of the components in the RDF file. What I've got here is SOLIDWORKS 2007. CircuitWorks will work perfectly well with earlier and later versions of SOLIDWORKS as well. The first thing I'm going to do is add in this CircuitWorks add-in. So if I select Tools, Add-ins, take a look in the list and add in CircuitWorks 9. I'll get a CircuitWorks toolbar here and a CircuitWorks menu added into the SOLIDWORKS environment and I can use these to use SOLIDWORKS CircuitWorks inside the SOLIDWORKS environment. So if I click the open ECAD file, select the IDF file I want to open, in this case I'll use the same cell phone file we've been using earlier. As before it will open it into the CircuitWorks environment but this time we're using the CircuitWorks environment from inside the SOLIDWORKS product. So if I want to model a component, the first thing to bear in mind is the symbols on the component. This component 0402C here doesn't have a little star on it, you've just got a little icon of the component. That means it's already been modelled, CircuitWorks already has a model of this in its component library. So what I'm going to do is select a component that's not been modelled, one of these with a star here. So if I select the component 0402C AVX, right click and select build in CAD, And SOLIDWORKS will build a model of the component. And you see we get a little comp little window up that says what's going on. It's building a new SOLIDWORKS part file, creating the geometry, and saving it away in this location. The location that CircuitWorks uses to save the models can be set in the options. So if I close that form, bring back CircuitWorks, you'll now see that there's no star on this component. So CircuitWorks now has a model of this component, which we can see behind us, and then we know in future it won't need to model this component again, it's now stored in its component library. So if I just close CircuitWorks down for a second, you can see the model it's created is fairly simple. The level of detail you'll get depends entirely on the IDF file you're reading. All IDF files contain a fairly simple board outline and a height, so you'll get a sort of 2.5D shape such as this. IDF4 files contain more complicated geometry, so it's possible with an IDF4 file to get details such as pins, cutouts, that kind of thing. But this is the sort of level of detail you'll get with an IDF2 or 3 file. It is possible to replace the model CircuitWorks builds with more detailed models if you want more detailed models in your component, in your, uh, in your assemblies. And we'll take a look at that in a moment when we look at building an assembly with CircuitWorks.